small white shells. Shell, line the edges of the large gray rocks, rocks that grew along the cliff across from the street in the house I got born into. My abacus, those little coffins, my amulets, my angel's playground, my stone church on that beach below, waves crashing and preaching, placed with thoughtful fingers, those six, seven, eight, nine, ten-year-old fingers with thoughts that were latent, <coughs> latent thoughts for latent years. I would hunt a shell, the day's witness, then palming delicate edges climb until I found a hiding place amid the rocks on the jetty, adding my treasure. Hidden, while my mother's flesh bruised and cut beneath my father's fingers, waves sounding over sirens. I could not hear shrill screams on that beach. I never could smell whiskey on those rocks decorated with urchin doilies. I could smell briny sea and foreign through those shells. I remember wishing I could sing along to those sea songs before I learned I was, before I had a voice. At 11, in the late fall, long after the liberation of my father's leaving, I gathered those coffins from their rock biers, all the small white shells with breathing holes. I pulled them out of order, off those rocks, their burial place, they were unrocked, reburied for safety in shoeboxes and stuck in one of the mausoleum caverns created by the seawall. After winter, I went to pay my respects, but found they'd been reclaimed, those shells, carted and tossed with shoeboxes, although all the years in their dormancy on the rocks, they, closer to the edge of their birth, had remained unclaimed. At 13, I replaced the shells with a ring, a promise ring, a ring that promised love from a boy. I placed that promise reverently on a rock in a place I noted but never found again. 14, Friends, I watched in envy for their passions. Where did my passions live? Only distance, beating on distance. I longed for strong feelings, believing myself incapable, perhaps broken. Believing in the possibility, and then suspending disbelief, an audience role. I waited in the dark, watched them dance, love lit, and inspired my applause, contentless sound. Fifteen, I saw her again for the first time in this life. Green eyes, a soft voice. She only stayed with me when I slept. I believed and created a world to separate this love from my reality, awakening to realize that this body is just a coffin for my soul. 17, I am kissed. A blood draining, everlasting, life promising kiss in Greenwich Village that wakes me from my latent. I found my ring and tattooed on my body, promise kept. I've had my life since. That woman was my teacher. When class concluded, I received a B. Plus Highest mark in my class. I earned that grade. <laughs> but when she handed mine, eyes averted, voice low, she cautioned, don't tell anyone. Don't tell. Don't tell. I felt wild in that village. I had found my voice. That whole village raised me and brought me home and taught me how to use handcuffs. <laughs> I had a few teachers that summer. <laughs> Don't tell. Then my mother on the way to the dentist. My mother, who, after liberation, hitchhiked to meet people in her see-through blouses, who lost her face in the rug during an acid trip, who lived on an inheritance but took food stamps to rip off the ugly government and built her pharmacy.
trading stamps for Valium and black beauties. My mother, who I thought of all the nutty liberals I could tell, froze and changed the subject. I thought then, at 18, I cannot place this on a rock. It will be crushed and brushed away. But even in a cavern within a seawall, hidden is not safe. I was found and rooted out in my shoebox. So each lover counted my abacus, became my amulet, and I grew stronger with each witness until I learned to sing that my body is just a coffin for my soul. I can tell. I am undead, rising out of my coffin for love. My blood is my own. You can spill it. I will bleed the blood of thousands, maybe millions. It will look like yours and you can taste and swallow, but you may not digest. When I am mirrored, I can see myself in us. We are undead, rising, all of us, out of our coffins, like the wind through that shell.